So marketing yourself, do they know you are in real estate? A uh, continuing theme from the last couple of weeks, what are we doing to put ourselves out there and let people know that we're in marketing? So number one on my list, you'll see that I'm wearing my pin. Some of you are wearing your pins as well. Make sure that you're wearing your pin. If you're at Kroger's, how do they know you're in real estate if you're not wearing your pin? We also uh, can get embroidery done uh, either on your own or we do have uh, jackets at the office if you do not have a black jacket. But make sure that you're wearing something that tells people you're in real estate. Magnets on your vehicles. I realize winter's coming and there are some concerns about having the magnets on your car when they're sold out. But as long as you take and, and keep them clean and keep the salt from underneath the magnets, they should stick. Over the last 15 years or so that I've used magnets for other uh, businesses, I've only known of one that has flown off at 70 miles an hour on 71. <laughs> we, we, we're not able to find it, so we just, they're, they're less than 15 bucks a piece, so uh, we just made another one. Don't forget about postcards and door hangers uh, for printing. Uh, anything printing, really. I just took two pictures, our business cards, our door hangers. These uh, have a perf so that a person can tear off the business card. Uh, so it's a two for one on that if you're roaming a neighborhood. Don't forget about uh, these handy house-shaped rubber jar lid removers. Very handy, very keepable. Uh, I've got uh, rubber jar lid removers in my drawer from 20 years ago. So these are things that people would keep and it would have your name on it. All right, pens. Uh, the mixed bag on that. Some pens are good, some pens are bad. This is, happens to be Bob Maxi without eyeglasses, if anybody can see that. <laughs> that is just me looking over the fence like Wilson from that show. <laughs> Thank you, home improvement. But different herring really pens have come and gone from the office, but maybe, maybe a pen would be something you could give away or give to a closing person or take with you in case, you know, we're always looking for a pen, right? How about, uh, these are not as popular as they used to be, but these refrigerator magnets that have the calendar on the bottom, sports schedules, those type of things, you can have your business card either attached to it or print your information right onto it so it doesn't come off. But don't forget about things that can attach to a refrigerator, some type of keepable item for the year. Keychains can have your personal information on it. Uh, I use one for every key that goes into my lockbox. Every key of closing I give away has my information on it so that hopefully they don't just throw it away when they get home, but hanging there on the key hook at the garage or when you come into the house is just another top of mind thing that we can do for ourselves. Chip clips that are magnetic on the back, another popular item that uh, I use at home. I have several of these that we, we use for uh, all kinds of things and that person's branding all the time is in front of my face. So uh, very inexpensive for the return on investment that you get there. We have some of these items in the office with just the herring logo, remember that. So uh, this is the uh, most interesting one, and you might think I'm a little strange. Uh, I do a lot of Goodwill and uh, garage sailing, so I uh, have a ton of books. I've actually taken a box of books to Goodwill that I will never read again. I've made my notes. Nobody wants to read them, so I put them in a box, took them to Goodwill. But every one of those books will have a sticker. So don't forget about having your business card turned into a sticker. And you can place that on all kinds of things. And now there is a box of books getting divided onto the shelves of Mansfield Goodwill that who knows who will buy it, who knows who will read it, who knows who will pass that on to a friend, who knows that it might go back to Goodwill and get recirculated and repurchased and re-given away and reset to Goodwill. And there is my face every time they open that cupboard. Every time. I know, right? This is a little scary, but what are we doing subtly, quietly, behind the scenes to get ourselves out there? I may also, on occasion, take business cards as I'm flipping through books at Goodwill and throw them into the middle of a book, put it back on the shelf, and go on about my day. I have found, going through books, other people's business cards. So I know I'm not the only one that. <laughs> <laughs> I got the idea, right? That may be how I got the idea. Because I'm not crazy, but I'm not that crazy. But, but if I see somebody else do it, and I'm like, that's actually a good idea. And I go into my pocket, four or five books, and I go out the door. They don't know. There's nothing illegal about leaving a business card in a car with the window down. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will no longer do that. Gonna, yes, thank you. That, that's what happened. Like, hey, was this guy in my car? I don't like this guy. <laughs> but where can you leave your business card? I was at uh, Texas Roadhouse for a family birthday event. And uh, ironically, at every table on the wall there, they have a little clip. So I schemed the whole dinner. What am I going to put in that clip? My business card. The people sitting down next time, the waitress, the, the guy cleaning the table off at the end of the day, how long will that stay in the clip? So I strategically waited for people exiting the booth to make sure they were looking the other way because I know that they would think I was weird if I put that in the clip. 
timed it, timed it, everybody's looking that way, exiting the booth, I'm putting it into the clip, and I know my wife heard that clip open, and she's what are you doing? And I said, I've got to get business. Fine. Because she hates the magnet on my truck. She hates all this stuff that I do, but she knows that I get business. And I, for the sake of time, I'm not going to tell you the two garage sale stories, but that magnet on my Jeep, I believe, got me the two biggest deals I've ever had. Because I went to a garage sale, they saw the magnet, and they asked if I was in real estate. And I didn't have a sarcastic answer. I actually answered it nicely. And they called me back, both of them, six months later. So let people know so that your neighbors don't use somebody else.